So this last group of plants, we consider the most successful plants on the planet. And think about when you, when someone says a plant, the type that you most likely think about is an angiosperm. And these are the plants that not only have the vascular tissue, they also produce seeds, but unlike the gymnosperms, their seeds are going to be protected in a structure we call the flower. So angiosperms, also called flowering plant, are the most successful, not only in terms of numbers, but also in terms of diversity and species. So when you think about the foods that we eat, wheat, rice, um, apples, oranges, those are all angiosperms. Many of the medicines that we use in our everyday environment, many of those are derived from angiosperms. So this is a huge group of plants that's critical to organisms like humans. And our societies have been built around being able to manipulate, being able to harvest, being able to grow these angiosperms. So when we look at the angiosperms, one of the central characteristics we're going to see is the flower. And when you look at the flower, you'll see that the flower has very particular structures that's associated with it. So we have things like the petals. So here we see the nice orange petals that are associated with this particular angiosperms. Petals you're going to see are advertisement. Angiosperms have become so successful because unlike the ferns and unlike many varieties of gymnosperms, rather than relying on something like when to move your male gametes to your female, angiosperms are going to use animals. Their primary animal we're going to see are insects. So you'll read later on in your textbook how plants have evolved their flowers to take full advantage of the behavior of insects. So if I look at something like a red flower that has an odor to it, it's looking for an insect. If I look at something like an aloe that has a red bell-shaped flower, it doesn't have an odor to it because its pollinator is a bird. And very rarely do birds have a sense of smell. So I just have to use vision in order to attract them to that. So with these angiosperms, these flowers have made them very successful in their environment.